What it do YouTube, welcome back to another video guys, in today's video we're going to be discussing the Black Ops 3 Zombie storyline. Now in the background you're going to just see a little bit of looping gameplay because you know as you guys know today is Christmas Eve so I'm kind of really busy, just want to get this video out for you guys because I'm actually really 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 excited to make this video. However, couldn't take the time to get to gameplay, I'm sorry about that, I do apologize, but let's get right into this. Now I personally believe that this note that we found on Shadows of Evil, which I'm sure you all have seen a thousand times, because if you're watching my video, you're probably a hardcore Zombies fan, so you should know what note I'm talking about, and if I have time, I will put the note in the video on screen here. But that note has all kinds of different coordinates on it, on the note. Now, as you all know, one of the coordinates on this note was Austria. Where is the DLC 1 map der Eisendrachen set? Austria, okay. This points directly to um, this location, and it points directly to this castle in Austria, which is exactly where DLC 1 is taking place. So, based on that, we can kind of conclude that these other locations could be future DLC. Now, one of them, which I find very, very interesting, is one of the coordinates points to a island it's Pompeii, no, I mean not the Pompeii that got blew up by the volcanoes and stuff, but it's an island named Pompeii close to New Guinea. Now, on this island there is one city in the southern right tip of the town, which is a ruined city, and it is believed that there was a city, that the city there was sunken into the ocean. And it used to be this great, magnificent city, and it got sunk to the ocean. And then that's why the villagers of that island never go to this ruined city that's just on the southern tip. Because they believe that, you know, it's haunted or whatever, because the other part of the city just sunk. And I know this just sounds like rambling right now, but I'm going to make a point here in a second. Now, the point of this is, in Shadows of Evil, it's all based around, like, Cthulhu and all that kind of stuff. And if you guys don't know anything about Cthulhu... Um, pretty much Cthulhu is like, it's, there's a book, um, I can't think of the name of the book right off the bat, as soon as I, I swear, as soon as I start recording, I always like derp and forget my information, but anyway, the Shadows of Evil is based off Cthulhu, and that's where all the monsters come from, the Marguas, and, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff, and the big monster thing in the sky, and all the tentacles, and all that, it's all based off Cthulhu. Now, Cthulhu himself is supposed to be like an all-powerful being and all this stuff. However, in the book that Shadows of Evil is based off of, Cthulhu is said to be trapped inside of an ancient village, like an ancient city, in water. Now, this is very, 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 very important because if Shadows of Evil is based off Cthulhu, and throughout Shadows of Evil, some people say that Cthulhu is the big giant monster in the sky. However, I do not think so. I believe that Cthulhu, we have not seen Cthulhu yet in Shadows of Evil, and based on that, we can conclude that Cthulhu is obviously not at Shadows of Evil, he is somewhere else in the world. Now, if we're going to go based off the books, then Cthulhu would be trapped somewhere in an underwater ruined city. Now, based on this, you can c conclude that on the points on the note, it points directly at the city. That is a ruined city, supposedly, that the other half sunk to. So could we see an underwater map in the future? I, I don't know if it would be underwater. I don't know if it would be set in the past before this whole ruined city thing didn't sink. You know, who knows? I, I, however, think that this is definitely going to be the location of one of the future DLCs coming. I definitely think we're going to be fighting Cthulhu of some sort. Now I seen a I seen a uh, YouTuber as well Johnny J25 I think is his uh, YouTube name and he did a video pretty much exactly like this and he makes some very very good points about you know could the ending of Black Ops 3 be fighting Cthulhu could what are we running around to find these artifacts for could we be running around to find these artifacts you know like the summoning key and what other artifacts Rick Toffin is looking for to fight Cthulhu could that be the end goal of Black Ops 3 story uh, could it be the end goal of just zombies in general is the end goal to defeat Cthulhu something we just now found out about in Shadows of Evil you know it's all kind of confusing and in the new Awakening DLC trailer or some trailer I don't remember what it was uh, 
one of the main developers of the zombies stated that this was going to be a conclusion. Der Eisendraken was going to be a conclusion. So, could Der Eisendraken be a conclusion to the current story we have? And then we could start on the third or the second DLC on a big Cthulhu story about stopping Cthulhu with the Shadows of Evil characters? You know, that's very, very well possible. As well as, could, um,. Could the Shadows of Evil characters be on Eisendraken? I don't think so. He confirmed that we would be playing as the, you know, uh, original characters. So what I believe is going to happen, guys, is I believe that Eisendraken is going to be the end goal of the storyline that we have going so far with our original characters as far as Maxis and Samantha. And I think that it will tie in a lot with the end of the origin storyline, which, uh, Easter egg, which left a lot of people confused about, well, is the story just a game? You know, was it a dream? You know, what is this? You know, the story has to have some kind of meaning behind it. Treyarch would never just make a story just to herp dip around and say, oh, it was just two kids playing. No, Treyarch would never do that. At least I personally don't think so. I believe that in the Rising Dragon, we're going to tie up a bunch of loose ends, going to figure out what happens to Maxis and Rick Toffin and Nikolai and Tank Dempsey and all of those characters, as well as Samantha. And, uh, you know, I personally believe that the Rising Dragon will be the conclusion to that storyline. You know, I could be completely wrong right now. We're all just speculation and opinions going out right now. However, I do think that that will be the case, and I think that DLC 2, 3, and 4, and maybe even future Treyarch games will be based around uh, killing Cthulhu. However, I do think by the end of Black Ops 3, we will see Cthulhu, because why else would those, you know, coordinates point toward this city, which matches up perfectly with, you know, finding Cthulhu, and if one coordinate is going to be a DLC map, why wouldn't the other coordinates be DLC maps? I mean, I could be completely wrong, we could all be completely wrong, this could be just pure stupidity coming out of our mouths, we, will, we won't know for the next, you know, lots of months to come through and show us, you know, what the DLC has to offer, but however, I, this is my opinion, this is what I think is going to happen, and, uh, you know, I would like to think I've provided some pretty hard facts on this, and, uh, make it match up for you guys, but, as far as that goes, yeah, that's all I have to say for this video, guys, so, I personally think we're going to be fighting Cthulhu by the end of the Black Ops 3, or at least seeing him, but, uh, who knows, guys. Hope you all enjoyed this video, hope you guys liked it, and uh, don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to be bringing more and more zombie speculation videos coming in the near future because I, you know, I really enjoy talking about this kind of stuff, and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, see you in the next video, Bye bye yeah.